I know you have parishes, flocks, and temples making enormous demands on your time, but I'm sure you appreciate also the great masses of humanity look to pictures for information and uplift and, yes, entertainment. Now here at Capitol Pictures, as you know, an army of technicians and actors and top-notch artistic people are working hard to bring to the screen the story of the Christ. It's a swell story, a story told before, yes, but we'd like to flatter ourselves that it's never been told with this kind of distinction and panache. Perhaps, sir, you forget it's telling in the Holy Bible. Quite right, Patriarch. The Bible, of course, is terrific, but for millions of people, pictures will be their reference point for the story. The story's embodiment. The story's, uh... Realization. Realization. You realize, of course, that for we Jews, any visual depiction of the Godhead is most strictly prohibited. Oh. But, of course, for us, the man Jesus Nazarene is not God. Aha! Uh -huh. Who plays Christ? Oh, a kid we're all very excited about. Todd Hockheiser, wonderful young actor we found in Akron, Ohio, on a nationwide talent hunt. But Hockheiser is seen only fleetingly and with extreme taste. Our story is told through the eyes of a Roman tribune, Autolycus Antoninus. Ordinary man, skeptical at first, but who comes to a grudging respect for this swell figure from the East. And Autolycus is played by Baird Whitlock. Oh, my. Well, he is certainly a great talent. Now, Hail Caesar is a prestige picture, our biggest release of the year, and we're devoting huge resources to its production in order to make it first class in every respect. Gentlemen, given its enormous expense, we don't want to send it to market except in the certainty that it will not offend any reasonable American regardless of faith or creed. Now, that's where you come in. You've read the script. I want to know if the theological elements of the story are up to snuff. I thought the chariot scene was fakey. How is he going to jump from one chariot to the other going full speed? Uh-huh. Well, we can look at that. But as for the religious aspect, does the depiction of Christ Jesus cut the mustard? Well, the nature of Christ is not quite as simple as your photoplay would have it. How so, Father? It's not the case simply that Christ is God or God Christ. You could say that again. The Nazarene was not God. He was not, not God. He was a man. Part God. No, sir. Rabbi, all of us have a little bit of God in us, don't we? Well, it's the foundation of our belief that Christ is most properly referred to as the Son of God. It's the Son of God who takes the sins of the world upon himself so that the rest of God's children, we imperfect beings, through faith, may enter the kingdom of heaven. So God is split? Yes. And no. There is unity in division. And division in unity. I'm not sure I follow, Padre. Young man, you don't follow for a very simple reason. These men are screwballs. God has children. What, and a dog? A collie, maybe? God doesn't have children. He's a bachelor and very angry. No, no, he used to be angry. What, he got over it? You worship the God of another age. Who has no love. Not true. He likes Jews. God loves everyone. God is love. God is who is. This is special. Who isn't who is? But how should God be rendered in a motion picture? God isn't in the motion picture. Then who is Todd Hawkeye? Gentlemen, maybe we're biting off more than we can chew. We don't need to agree on the nature of the deity here. If we could focus on the Christ, whatever his parentage. My question is, is our depiction fair? I have seen worse. Reverend? There's nothing to offend a reasonable man. Father? Well, the motion picture teleplay was uh, respectful and exhibited tastefulness in class. Who made you an expert all of a sudden? And what do you think, Rabbi? Yeah. I have an opinion. 